Hello everyone, it's me EJ and welcome back to my channel and today I'll be showing you how I cut my hair. Yes, I do cut my hair for following reason. First reason, it is so expensive here in Canada. The average haircut price for the men is 21 Canadian dollars. Diba ang mahal? And di pa kasama yung tip doon. And if you're going to convert it into peso, roughly mga 800 pesos yun. So, mahal talaga siya. Number two reason is, most of the time, hindi na kukuha yung style na gusto ko. So, ang ending is, I'm disappointed. Pero hindi ko naman sila masisi kasi I am kulot. And yung pagkakulot ng hair ko, hindi katulad ng curl ni Beyonce o yung curl ni Goldilocks o yung curl ni Justin Timberlake. Yung sa akin is parang sinumpa. So, mahirap siyang ayusin. So, hindi ko rin sila masisisi. Third reason is, mabilis humaba yung hair ko. Pag mabilis humaba yung hair mo, lumalabas yung sumpa. And then, mahirap siyang ayusin. So, wala kang choice kundi magpagupit. So, ang ending is, nagiging magastos. The practical way to save money is to learn how to cut my hair. Just to make it clear, I'm not a professional professional hair cutter or hairstylists or barbers. Bali natutunan ko lang siya through watching videos and of course experience na rin kasi I've been doing this for uh, more than two years. So medyo sanay na ako. And if you're going to do it yourself, uh, make sure may kasama kayo para i-assist kayo kasi mahirap na baka bigla na lang kayong makalbo, di ba? Or syempre iniwasan din natin yung maksidente tayo. So yung last time na naggupit ako nung bagubaguhan pa is na nakat ko yung finger ko and it's sobrang sakit. So, yun yung iniiwasan natin. Always remember that safety is important when you're doing a thing for the first time. So, wala na paligoy-ligoy pa. Let's jump right into the video and I hope you enjoy it. The following are the things I'll be using for cutting my hair. Hair clipper. Hair clipper cards with different sizes. I'll be using number two, number one, one and a half, and one half. Hair clip rubber band and scissors and comb. First, I need to tie up the top part of my hair using rubber band and hair clip and then I'm gonna go ahead use the clipper with clip guard number two. And then all I have to do is shave the side and the back part of my head. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use clipper guard one and a half but this time I'll be shaving only until this line so it will give a fading effect on the hair. Make sure the clip guard is properly attached to the hair clipper para may iwasang makalbo.
Next, I'll be using clip card number one and shave only until this line. last clip guard which is one half I'll be using this at the end or lower part of my hair And then I'm gonna go ahead use the clipper to remove the baby hair on my neck but this time I'm not gonna use a clip guard. And I'm gonna use again clip guard number one, one and a half, and number two just to do the final touches. After shaving the sides and the back part of my head, I'm gonna go ahead and trim the top part of my hair using scissors. And I'll be focusing only on the left side of my hair because that's the um, hairstyle I wanted, I wanted to achieve. And finally, I'm gonna use the thinning scissors to the left part of my hair so it won't look thick. Thank you. 
And there you have it, the final look. So there you go guys, I hope you enjoy watching the video and I hope you learned something from it. Let me know what is your thought on today's video, just comment down below because your comments are very important to me kasi yun yung way para may improve ko itong channel na to. And if you are new to my channel and want to see more of my video, just click the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on your notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga bago kong videos. So that's it for today's video, bye for now, see you on my next video and God bless!